Good evening, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your dinner. Uh, in the next minute or so, I just want to give you a brief overview of some of the research uh, that I do in the field of brain mapping and therapeutics. The best way to explain uh, my research is by showing you some images here. And specifically, what I want to do is I want to cut open the brain, put these orange or yellow blobs on top of the brain to indicate activity or as a result of some task or function that the participant is using or doing. And essentially doing this without having to actually have a neurosurgeon cut open the brain. Additionally, what I want to do is not only look at function, but also look at structure of the brain. And what we're looking at here are what we call diffusion tensor imaging. And these are the, the highways and the byways and the alleys and the roadways of the brain that allows uh, communication between one point of the brain to another. It's like taking a car from one part of, the part of the town into the other part of town. And if there are any issues or detours in this area, there might be some kind of dysfunction, both as a result of function and structure. And an example of that is if we look at a, a patient who has a big ball mass on, in their brain on the top there, and we look at these, these highways, how they have to go around them as a detour. Uh, as soon as the neurosurgeon on the bottom row there removes this mass, we see that these roadways go back to the way they should be, so the detour on the road is uh, no longer there. Uh, additionally, what we'd like to do is measure the volume of different parts of the brain and try to understand how that affects function and structure uh, in patient populations and those who don't have necessarily a specific diagnostic problem. And what we see here in these color-coded maps are different regions of the brain. And we could also count the number of tracks or the highways and roadways and see and try to correlate those with uh, uh, clinical indicators or outcomes. More recently, we started looking at light technology and how that penetrates the brain and how we can use that to understand brain function as well. And the idea here is we take this light, we shine it on top of the brain like we see here in this infant, and we can do continuous monitoring of the blood changes in the brain. And this could be uh, real-time monitoring. And so this helps us understand, again, different types of therapies and treatments in the brain. So that was a very quick overview uh, of some of the research that I do in brain imaging, brain mapping, and the possibility of doing therapy and understanding how that, that affects and how we can monitor the effects of therapy uh, in regards to brain mapping, both function and structure. Uh, if any of you guys have any further questions, want to approach me, want to discuss some more, there are many, many other areas that I'm working on in this, in this field. Uh, feel free to approach me after dinner or during dinner, and uh, I'd be more than welcome, be more than happy to uh, to discuss with you further. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your night.